Hi everyone, uh, today I would like to share with you a uh, how to fix uh, Carrier Infinity error code 33. So, uh, this fix is for my particular condition of my furnace. So, I would like to share with you guys just in case you come across something like this, and that would be uh, just an easy fix. So, uh, I want to show you the furnace right now. So this is the Carrier Infinity. It's uh, not even two years old. And this year is my second year of uh, heating season. And right now it's running at 100% capacity on high speed. So it's a little bit noisy, but uh, I'm gonna show you with the LED light. So right now you can see it's flashing. So it comes with a short flashes, then followed by long flashes. So this time we read the code: two, three, then one, two, three. Again, one, two, three. So that's error code 33 that I have with this furnace. Okay, this could have been ongoing since the first day of installation, but I never noticed that until recently. Especially this heating season, because just wondering why the furnace is running so loud and so noisy because of this error code. So if I go to this book, I have it marked up over here. So error code 33 is limit circuit fault. And there are so many possible problems here. <clears throat> So it says, could be check for improper limit switch or no limit gasket, uh, defective switch or connection, improper gas input adjustment, loose blower wheel. Okay, so with this error code 33, I did whatever they tell me to do. Change the new, brand new furnace filter. I thought it would be like a clocked up furnace filter or something. Change that, open other vents, check out the switches and connection inside the furnace, and turn up the furnace, turn it back on. But then a few days later, the coats come back. So this system come with a carrier infinity system control thermostat, which I'm gonna show you upstairs. Oh, this is the uh, Infinity System Control thermostat right now. Gas heating is on. And I go to the menu. I go to operating status, equipment operating status. It will show me right there, gas heat is at 100%. Fan is on. Okay. Well, here's the fix. So apparently when this system was installed, everything was left at default by the installer, where it should be set according to the system setup. If I look through, when I look through the disk, Infinity System Control Thermostat menu, it says right on it. So right there, furnace airflow setup. So it says right there, for low heat rise option, set it on if the system contain a bypass humidifier. The on setting will increase the furnace low heat airflow. So, so this is what happened. So I go to menu and then 
We're gonna touch it down. See that service button right there? Now I tap on that and hold for about 10 seconds. There. So it goes to this sub menu. And I go to setup. And I go to furnace. And go to gas heat flow. So right now, the low heat rise is off. So now all I need to do is just set that on and save and done. That's all I needed to do in order to fix that error code 33. So again, see, going down there, service, tap and hold it for about 10 seconds. Then let go. Then you go to this installation and service menu, setup, and furnace, gas, heat, airflow. So, so that's that's the way it's supposed to be. Especially this is the problem that causing error code 33, low heat rise. So it was off. I just turn it on. Do you want to show you that? Save it and done. So I go to menu. Operating status right now is up. So then I have to go downstairs and turn up the furnace and turn it back on. So with this error code 33, you could you have to manually reset it first. Basically, you turn off the power to the furnace, which is I have the switch right here. You turn it off and you wait for maybe a minute or so turn it back on well it's gonna start up slowly so now you see the light is solid so that is the normal operating condition okay it has been three weeks now my HVAC system has been running without error code 33 or any error code. So, so it's operating at 40%. All right. LED lights is solid. Running at forty percent capacity. So that's it, folks. That's how to fix. The Carrier Infinity Error Code 33. So I hope this video will help you if you have similar condition with this particular system. Carrier Infinity Error Code 33.